everybody. How's everybody doing? This is Susan uh, Lynn, Psychic Medium. Good to see you again. Just, um, you know, <clears throat> dealing with my chocolate addiction. What are you guys up to today on this weekend? Yeah, so what? I use chocolate. I'm an, I'm an addict. My name is Susan Lynn. I'm a chocolate addict. Anyway, let's talk about what the hell's going on with Trump and with everything else in general. Well, here's the thing. Trump is in Camp David this weekend. Um, you want to know why? Because he's afraid to be in the White House. He's literally afraid of his own supporters. He put up that big fence, remember? Well, it wasn't big enough. <laughs> he saw what these crazy people did, and he is terrified of them. And let's face it, he threw Pence over the bus, you know, under the bus, and now they're after Pence. They're literally after Pence. They're after the Republican leaders. So, you know, Nancy Pelosi has just dropped down several rungs, and now Pence and Mitch McConnell and some other people are um, even more wanted by these um, crazy Trump supporters who are not apparently all the way in love with Trump. They're upset with him. They're, they're being arrested. As I'm videoing this right now, they are being arrested. They're being pulled out of their houses and arrested. The dummy that wore his, you just can't make this stuff up. The dummy that wore his employee badge to an insurrection? Yeah, somebody was like, hey, I know that guy. I saw on Twitter where another person was like, hey, I know that guy. He lives down the street from me. I reported him to the FBI. <laughs> so again, when the guys kept talking about McCarthyism, here we are, Americans reporting on Americans, right? But let's talk about Trump. When I go into Trump's energy, and oh my God, where the heck is the sage? Um, <clears throat> when I go into Trump's energy, um, I, I don't want to go into Trump's energy. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Um, we have to be prepared. First of all, it's like, um, being in the energy of a really bratty toddler, like the worst bratty toddler you've ever met that you could ever imagine. Um, I want it my way. I want it right now. Why can't I have it? Uh, and then I'm throwing a fit. I'm throwing literally a fit. Now, secondly, uh, what I'm doing, God bless me. Oh, please, okay. All right, let me just bring some good white light protection energy around me. Because, um, I mean, when you run with filth, you get filth on you. So you have to be careful, people. Um, the other energy is, is this. I'm If I'm in Trump's energy, I feel like um, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh, you know, all those people uh, want uh, shift. They all want, and Biden, of course, all want something from me. That means I'm powerful. If you want something from me, that means I get to charge you for the something you want, right? You, you have to pay me for it. So now Trump is in this position where he's thinking, hey, I've got something everybody wants, which is me to leave, right? But why isn't he leaving? Well, besides the fact that he's addicted to power and money, like we've talked about, he doesn't want to face prosecution. He doesn't want to end up in jail or prison. This is a no-go for him. This is a non-starter. He will do anything. He might even live in Bolivia for this, to escape this, okay? He would actually go to one of his countries that he thinks is a... Uh, a shithole country to avoid this. So he's going to do anything he can. Now, he's he he's right now, he's trying to make a deal. Dude's trying to make a deal. What can you give me so that I uh, do what you want me to do? You want me to leave? Okay, I'll leave, but you have to give me what I want. So let me see what else Trump is up to at Camp David. Um, he is talking to Ivanka. He is talking to Jared. He is talking to Rudy Giuliani. Uh, Rudy Giuliani is one of his go-betweens, but Rudy is not the go-between between him and 
say the Biden administration or anybody, anybody in America, really what I see Jul Rudy Giuliani doing is talking to um, these other countries. Um, so as Trump is trying to make a deal with um, the Biden administration and or Georgia and New York, uh, sort of a um, package deal, a bundle, you know, he's trying to bundle. He's trying to bundle all of his pardons into one, um, one get out of jail free card. Um, as he's doing that on one hand, he's actively looking at where he will reside on the other hand. Um, I do see him fleeing and I use the word fleeing because I think that he leaves with the intention that he's not coming back, that it's not an official trip. That's what I feel like. And I kept seeing M, I kept saying on the other video that I saw M, 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 uh, some kind of M country. And this uh, person on Twitter was kind enough to tell us, uh, these are the countries um, that America doesn't have an extradition with. They are Moldova, Mongolia, Montenegro, Morocco, Mozambique. That's a whole bunch of M countries right there. Then also Namibia, Nepal, Niger, Oman, Qatar, Russia, Rwanda, Saudi Arabia, Senegal, Serbia uh, are just the ones listed here. Now I have to tell you guys that um, Look, he's not going to go to Saudi Arabia. The, the, Saudi Arabia will sell him back to us. <laughs> he is worth money to us. He's worth, um, he, he's a, something to be traded. He's a commodity. He's a commodity. So he's not going to go to Saudi Arabia. Uh, well, if he does, God bless him because they're going to sell him back to us. And when I say sell, I don't mean necessarily for money, but I mean as in, um, Look at this nice thing we did to you. We gave you your rogue president back and now what will you, you'll, you know, be nice to us, right? Um, so I don't see him going to Saudi Arabia. Um, the energy, the thing that I get energy around is Moldova. Uh, Moldova is a, a country, a small country on the water, I think. And I, and it's near Russia and it's, um, I'm not sure what its current status is with Russia. I'm not sure how how the guides are talking to me. They're saying that it is in the pocket of Russia. It's very much um, in the pocket of Russia. So this would be an option for him because um, he could go to this place and it doesn't have extradition and yet Russia wouldn't be in trouble. That's why I was asking that question because see if Russia doesn't want to be in trouble either. Biden is going to be out swinging for Russia big time. I mean, Russia is the problem, not China. Russia is the problem. Russia is the one that has embedded the assets. Russia is the one who's done the propagandizing. Russia is the one who's interfered with our elections. So Russia is the problem. Russia doesn't want to be uh, caught harboring Trump, okay? But Moldova would be interesting because... Um, because Russia still has a lot of control of Moldova, but they don't have extradition to the U.S. So that could be a place. That feels energetically like that might be a place. And I got to keep coming back to Mauritius, the first island uh, place, excuse me, that I got energy around a long time ago was this island called Mauritius. But Mauritius has extradition to the United States. Um, now, I guess the question the guides are bringing up to me or, or maybe even the answer to the question is, is that this is very interesting. They just brought this up. Um, you know, we extradite U.S. citizens for federal crimes, but can we extradite a U.S. citizen for a state crime? Like, I just want to stop this video and Google it right now because they're like, they're bringing this up to me. So this means this must be a thing. God, I always knew Trump had some kind of ace in his pocket. I always knew that. The man is smart, crazy like a fox. You know, he's crazy. <laughs> but there's some intelligence there. There's wiliness there. There's 
this ability to escape, right? He's escaped everything. He's escaped how many bankruptcies don't seem to touch him. You know what I mean? He, Teflon Don, you know, he gets out of things. He, nothing sticks. So um, I think that's interesting. I'm going to have to look it up and tell you about that. But that's a good question. Can you extradite somebody for a state crime? I heard yes and then no. I wonder if uh, to parse that out, to separate that, you know, pick it apart, it could be that the answer is yes, but it's never done because the resources aren't there to do it, right? The federal government has resources the states don't have. Um, and usually state uh, people that have state charges just don't, you know, it's just not that big a deal. They just go to a different state. <laughs> you ever known people? It's like, well, I can't go to Alabama. <laughs> you know, and that's the truth really with like uh, people that have child support, that owe child support in a certain state. They literally can't drive through that state because if they get pulled over, boom, they're in the Alabama jail. So, um, so that's very interesting, right? So it could be, God, Trump, I hate that he's playing us. I mean, it makes me mad because I hate the fact that we've underestimated, underestimated him, that we've thought that he's really just a buffoon, when in reality, he's quite a bit smarter. He's a quite a bit wilier than we thought he was. So if that's the case, he will, it, it would be in his best interest um, to stay until the 19th or the 20th just to throw more gasoline on the fire and light more fires. But I think it's interesting. I know he's quiet because they've taken his Twitter away. You know, it's like, you know, I'm going to take your toy away if you don't act right, toddler. Um, but I know he's quiet because of that, but I, but I, I feel like he's quiet because he's doing something. If to, the energy feels like he's, it feels subterfuge, but it feels like he's planning something. It feels like he's, he's behind the scenes. You know, when toddlers are quiet, that's when they're in trouble. That's when they're in trouble. When they're quiet, that's when parents go, wait, where is he? Where is he? Because you know, he's up to something. So that's what's happening now. This is the energy that I feel now. He's planning something. Um, I feel like, I feel like he is going to leave the country. I feel like he's going to leave the country as he throws the Molotov cocktail out the plane window. You know, he's going to do something, put something in action, start something, and then he will flee. Um, knowing, and I, I think at the flee word, just I can't use another word, like they won't let me. I think the flee word is because that's what it feels like. I'm fleeing because I know that I just threw this Molotov cocktail on a great big pile of, uh, you know, tender that's going to blow up. Um, that's what I feel like is going to happen. He's going to um, encourage, gosh, I'm getting, I can't believe, he's going to encourage his people to um, do this last big attack, uh, big show of force. Once again, it's always the show of force. It's always about power. Um, there's the Million Militia March, which has been announced. There are many other uh, groups that are planning activities and actions on the 17th and on the 20th. Um, but I think he's got multiple things planned. I think I mentioned the 13th. I don't remember what it was. Uh, 12th, 13th. He's got multiple things planned. And he doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to be on United States soil when this happens. I got to tell you, if I wasn't channeling these guys right now, I would be cussing because it makes me so mad. <laughs> it's like I have this burning in my <laughs> solar plexus, like I'm mad. Uh, but I need to stay connected to them so I can give you this message. Um, is he going to do anything different? I mean, is he is he going to, he is he going to stay? Is he going to stay in the United States through the twentieth? No, I get just a flat out no, no. He's not here. His energy is gone. I feel his energy is gone. Again, I go back to an M country, uh, Mauritius, Morocco, uh, 
Moldova. He's a lot worse than we give him credit for, you guys. He's a lot worse than I. I know y'all are going to be like, come on, get a break. How could he be? But I mean that he's smarter and more strategic than I thought he was. Because just for a second, they showed me him in one of these countries that doesn't have extradition. And they showed me him striking back at the United States from these various positions. From, 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 these, from this position, but through China, through Russia, through these other countries. Just literally throwing Molotov cocktails. So, and then I want to talk about his health is obviously, um, let's face it, guys, something else is keeping him alive. Some really bad aliens, <laughs> the devil, I don't know. But there's not a real soul in him. There's nothing, there's something else keeping him alive. Um, however, it, it's a host body. I just heard it's a host body for something else. So, um, Despite that, the host is going to leave and the body is going to fail. So um, I do see him potentially coming back to the States, a sick and broken man. Um, I've seen this before where he asked for some kind of pardon from Biden or something like that. Um, lots of possibilities with that, with the end. I, I can't understand why he hasn't moved on to the other side. I can't, I can't understand that. We all see him doing it and yet he never does it. And it's not just me. It's multiple readers, multiple psychics see him doing this. And yet for some reason it never happens. So what is keeping him alive? I don't know. Um, but I think that's all I have. I, I, I don't know about, you know, Ivanka and Jared. I feel like Ivanka wants to go south. Didn't they buy property in Florida? Ivanka wants to go south and Jared wants to go to Israel. Ivanka doesn't want to go to Israel. She for real doesn't want to go to Israel. She's like, I'm American. I'm going to stay here. Thanks. <laughs> um, but again, Ivanka is not... Uh, she's been fooling herself too about her own implications, her own uh, possible uh, arrest and charges. She's fooling herself, and I promise you, she 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 has no idea what's coming for her and Jared, both of them. But really, Ivanka, I see Ivanka really going down, guys. The kids, Don Jr. and and his brother, Beavis and Butthead. Can you be too stupid to go to prison? Because <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure that they would even allow them there. I mean, they're just like, no, honey, you're not smart enough to be here. I don't know, y'all. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, you know, that's what I have for you today. I will update you when I get more information about all this craziness. It's good to have a good laugh every now and then. I want you guys to take good care. Thank you so much for being with me. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you come back and watch more videos. I hope you found it entertaining and or helpful. And if you're a regular viewer, thank you. It's so good to see you. Please take good care of yourself. Extra self-care is really warranted right now. We have to take care of ourselves. We need to get through this in one piece. We need to all be together on the other side. So with that, I'm going to go eat more chocolate. <laughs> no, no. Uh, with that, I'm actually going to go on a, a nice walk in Mother Nature because that is what heals my soul. You guys have a great one and we'll talk soon. This video is for entertainment purposes only.